Rules of Zod versus the New Life Expo. I'm sorry it had to end this way. Actually, you know what? It's probably for the best. I don't mind being playing that position. You know, standing up for what I believe in. In acknowledgement of the contributions of Mark Becker and his organization to the people of this city, you hereby proclaim Friday, September 19, 1997, Europe as Mark Becker and New Life Expo and Magazine Day. Let's have a round of applause. Artists for Humanity would be some type of organization that would make sure that the artists were well taken care of. In a higher intuition, which is synchronicity, the days you go out and have a great day, those kinds, that kind of synchronicity, it's not about words. The artists here at the Museum of Sound Recording have been wonderful. We are the greatest bunch of people and I really am thankful that I'm associated with all of them. And right now, I'd like to introduce the person who's going to MC tonight, Mr. Mark Becker himself. Mark. It's about, about you, me, and what, and Mark Becker, and what happened, and about all these other people, what happened there. You know? The main, main message, the main voice in the main language we have is music. A lot of times, musicians in general don't get much respect because. I am also a spot The unity element of the music, representing urban chants, all I have is the views of spectrum analysis, style, peace, beyond them, spacious. <laughs> energy that takes place in the mind that emanates from within and radiates from that. Get this out of here, please. Got it, pick out, Johnny. Every time I try to rise up. Try to keep me down! The music is what heals the soul. So, you know, the issue of whether the music was appropriate or inappropriate had nothing to do with the kind of music it really is and what kind of music, um, what, what healing music is or what. I love the music here. This orchestra back there, that is dreadful. We must bring the healing music back. The majority of people on this planet are so spiritually you, dead, so it's my job as an artist to wake them up and resurrect them. How do you feel about that? This is that seems to me is a new this performance for this show. Is that its first time? Right? Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And so I didn't want to mellow my mellow mind down, you know what I mean? I wanted to go out and I wanted to keep on doing it. I wanted to be loud and I wanted it to be in the face. And that's exactly what it was. You know what I'm saying? So and um, for instance, right now, we have the background with the fruit. It's very spiritual. And I think that's very good for the whole spirit and the whole environment. That's fitting. We must make a healing music back. And if you talk to like some a professional musician, like, do you know Stephen Halpern? Yeah. Have you met I him? No, I haven't met him. You see, those guys aren't into what I'm into. I'm, what? I'm, I'm into opera. I know. Very serious opera. <clears throat> you know, this guy over here, that little skinny thing over there with that, that thing, he's an older guy, but he, I mean, this guy really knows the stuff. It's so... Uh, it starts off softly, like in an ocean, uh, in an ocean's uh, tides coming in late, late at night. Moonlight above. And serenity. It starts off like that, and you see the various performers coming in. their own spontaneous direction. It's all jazz in the sense that it's all unwritten music, music that the, uh, the uh, emotion, the spontaneous, as I say, uh, flow, the flow is there, the spontaneous feeling. Stream of consciousness, we might say, in other terms. If you are honest with yourself, you won't do anything that's dishonest. Regular Caucasian people are not all that bad.